Hey guys, Joe Chuck here. We're gonna check out what's inside a GoPro battery. All right, so what I got here is an old, like first generation GoPro Hero camera that doesn't work anymore. And I have some leftover batteries that are also dead. I mean, this is years and years old, like five or six years at least. So let's go ahead and dive into this battery, see how it's made, you know, how it's put together. As you can see, it's a lithium ion battery, 3.7 volts, 1100 milliamp hours. And let's go ahead and dive right in how to take this apart. All right, now that we have this sticker off, you can see that the battery's kind of swell because of age. Here's the connections for the electrical. And there's a little plastic piece that goes around this casing. Let's see what happens when we pop this off. There we go. So up here on the top piece, see this little bitty gap here? Well, broke the outer plastic piece off. So what's underneath here I know is the battery management system and oh, I think I almost got it. There we go, so that little piece came out of the front here. And then this should slide right to the back and it does. And right here you can see the electrical connections. And this is actually what controls the charge rate in that it makes sure it doesn't get overcharged and that if it gets under voltage, it shuts off the power. If I go to the leads directly, the negatives at the top, positive on the side, it doesn't show any volts. Now let's run a little bit of experiment. I have another battery over here. Let's put this stuff up here. Now I don't recommend doing this. It's my blow up, so watch out. Negative, negative. I know it's negative because I did it to the previous battery. And to positive. Let me kind of go on there for about 10 seconds. Let's take a quick look at if the voltage rose. I feel the battery's a little bit warm. And there we go right now. Now it's actually reading one volt. So we are charging this battery just a little bit. These wires aren't even getting warm. So it's barely putting any power into the battery. So I don't have any concern at all. Still at 1.7, so it's not really taking a charge. Well, we're not here to charge this battery. I was just gonna see if it could take a charge. And let's go ahead and take this balance board off. Here's a paper separator so it doesn't short out. This edge here, you can barely see it. This edge here is actually our way in. And what we're gonna do is get these pliers carefully and try and cut it right at that edge. And you know what? You can hear it barely making a little bit of hiss. Let me get some gloves before we open this up. All right, now that I got my gloves on here, we can open up this battery as I don't know what type of chemicals are in here. So we heard it while ago, do a little bit of hiss. Let's see if we can get this off. There we go, just barely cracked it. Opening it up like a can of green beans or something. And it has an interesting smell, kind of like um, rubbing alcohol. All right, there's that top piece that came off. And at first glance, here's our positive lead again. And then in the middle is our negative lead. This plastic can come off. It's a little bitty separator of some type. And now you can see how the anode and cathode of this battery is wrapped up inside. Let's see if we can just get this pouch to come out. And yep, here it comes. So here we go. There's a little bit of electrolyte on it, as you can see. A little bit inside here, left over. 
So now we've taken the plastic off, taken it out of this metal container, and now we're down to the actual lithium battery here. And this is very tightly wound with our anode and cathode. Again, here's our positive lead right here. And then our negative is right there. And yep, still at about one volt from how we charged it. Still a bad cell, not good at all. We don't want to use this. That's why I'm able to take it apart. I'm not worried about it exploding or anything or catching fire. So now let's go ahead and take this plastic off. That exposes the bottom. And we have this other one that's helping hold it together as well. This lithium battery is made up of an anode which is your negative terminal here in the center and that is made up of carbon of some sort and then also the cathode which is right here your positive terminal that has the lithium metal oxide which is this black paste here so again this black paste here is your lithium metal oxide of some sort their preparatory chemistry which is your positive and then again your negative which is here in the center is an anode made out of some type of carbon source. So this is considered one cell, and this one cell produces 3.7 volts nominal. What's able to get the ampacity up to 1100 milliamps is how much material there is. So the more material in one cell, the greater the ampacity, and this is 1100 milliamp ampacity. So say if we wanted to double the ampacity of this battery, we would have to double the amount of length, so to speak, of how much material is in here. And the voltage will stay the same. Now in order to get the voltage up, you have to get this cell plus another cell. So you have, let's just say, one cell here, and then we'll use this other one, this cell here, and we'll combine them. And these two batteries here would then get us to about 7.4 volts nominal. So let's go ahead and continue taking this apart so we can see what's inside. Oh, and you can see this is very, very fragile when taken apart. It's just breaking apart. And you can see that the electrolyte is evaporating very quickly off of here. So there's a reason this was sealed because it looks like the electrolyte evaporates very quickly. And when you don't have electrolyte, well, there's no way to pass electrons around. So that's basically what's inside of a battery. You have your anode carbon source right here, then a separator, then you have your cathode lithium metal oxide source, which is your positive. All right, so there you have it. Now you know what's inside of a GoPro lithium battery. We've taken this apart. I hope you learned something. I know I at least know what's inside of it and what it looks like. So once again, thank you for watching Joe Check. We have checked out what's inside of a lithium ion battery for a GoPro. And now you can see what's inside. You have your anode, your cathode, and your separators. Please give this a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you have not done so because I'll be coming off more videos soon. Thank you for watching.